So you saw the title and thumbnail. Obviously, building a contender is way easier said than it is done. But as the Timberwolves enter one of their most important off seasons in franchise history, they truly have a chance to become a contender with this young core that just brought them to the postseason for the first time in what feels like forever. But for that to happen, there's some changes to the roster that need to occur and issues that need to be addressed. So let's dive right into it. Heading into the 2022 NBA season, the Timberwolves were expected to be a playing team, so it's safe to say that they exceeded expectations. I myself had them at the 8th seed, or had them as the 8th seed ahead of the season, and that was me being pretty optimistic at the time. But despite coming off of a successful season, there's still a lot of room for improvement. The main areas include front court help with rebounding and size, lack of a backup facilitator, which I'll elaborate more on, as you know. Jordan McLaughlin has been holding his own, obviously, and issues with closing out games. These are all issues that would need to be resolved in order for the Wolves to really become a contender, which I consider a contender to be like a top four seed in the conference. So here's how they can fix them. So first, we need a backup big to help with rebounding and size issues. The Wolves' only seven-footer is Cat. His only real consistent backup was 6'9", Nas Reed, who, by the way, also isn't really that great of a defender. And our backup power forwards are both with slim builds, so they can't really hang with bigger, bulkier players in the paint. So we don't necessarily just need height. We also need muscle. Guys who can bang down low, rise above other players from boards, and also protect the rim. Our solution can be found either the draft, free agency, or trades. Because right now, the only guy who could develop into that kind of player on this current roster is Nathan Knight. But he's still about 6'10", 250, so that's not quite 7 feet. In the draft, we could go for guys like Walker Kessler, who averaged 4.6 blocks last year at Auburn. In free agency, we could sign guys like JaVale McGee, Isaiah Harnstein, Hassan Whiteside, etc. for the mid-level. Or we could do a trade like how we have been rumored to be interested in trading for Clint Capella. So as you can see, there are quite a few options for the Wolves. I think this is an issue that will likely be resolved by the start of next season. Next up, they also need a backup facilitator, which kind of means maybe a future point guard given how Patrick Beverly signed an extension for only like a couple more seasons or another season I believe and D'Angelo Russell's on the last year of his contract who knows what his future is here I know a lot of Wolves fans have been talking about signing Tyus Jones for the mid-level exception but I feel like he would be too heavily sought after so I don't know if he could sign him for that little maybe, but I don't know. And I doubt a signing trade could happen. And same with the Bigs issue, maybe we could find a player in this year's draft. I mean, Tyson like Washington perhaps, as he's like the top point guard in this draft, but I'm not too high on drafting a point guard right now, as I feel like there'll be better point guards that we could acquire in the future. One player I really liked if we wanted to go for that D'Angelo Russell replacement is Jalen Williams, who's not necessarily a point guard, I believe, but he's a, pre he's a pretty talented passer could probably play the one a potential situation could also be to you know just give ant more playmaking responsibilities from here on out develop him as almost like a point forward even though he's like six four six five maybe six six on a good day but i think if they start to let him do that in year five you could be seeing point ant very frequently that could help with having another facilitator on the roster if he can't be the primary facilitator and now that we're on the topic, I think also in order for us to become a contender, Ant needs to take a jump as soon as next season. I'm talking about becoming an all-star or even the best player on this roster. We saw how great Ant was in the postseason, but if we want more than a first round exit, he has to be even better for his decision making and closing out games. It's a good thing he just made his first playoff appearance this early in his career, so now he knows what the postseason is like and has that experience, so he knows what to improve on. Also, another young player on this roster that I would like to see improve next season is Jaden McDaniels. I want to see Jaden become the starting small forward for them next season. Obviously, that could happen if certain roster changes are made, but also if he can just be more consistent and stop fouling as much in year three. And finally, I want to talk about their all-star, Carl Anthony Towns. The only way they can become a contender is if Cat, their best player, stops taking himself out of games when he gets flustered. I understand the refs can be annoying and stuff, but that's just how it is especially when making a postseason run, you're gonna come across badly ref games and stuff. And, you know, you can't really make a deep postseason run if you can't handle that kind of stuff and stay, you know, just uh, stay in it, right? I just feel like Cat is too good of a player to not be competing for more than like a lower seated 
playoff spot. But the only way he can get past that is, like I said, just controlling his emotions better. And obviously, it's way easier said than done. I mean, I know myself, you know. But um, given the topic of this video of how the Wolves can become contenders, this is definitely something that has to be some that is, uh, you know, resolved in order for the Wolves to make a deeper postseason run. And finally, closing out games. The Wolves' solution are not choking games. The team needs to just coexist better in the clutch. I think that's the main thing. I think our large issue was just, you know, too much iso ball, hero ball in the clutch. The team just needs to build off of each other instead of just like one guy trying to close it out by himself. In games where they didn't choke, I feel like they usually just finished it as a team. Like I said, building off of each other, guys, like a few guys taking shots and stuff to close it out. Um, but things that would obviously help is, you know, finding better shots than trying to iso. But yeah, the Wolves just got to improve and make some moves to improve the roster overall. So you can continue to be more competitive next season. As you know, the West is going to be tough next year. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for this video. Like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss future uploads. Like an Anthony Edwards video I will be dropping in the near future. Like, So comment what you think the Wolves need to do to become a contender. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.